At this conference, you're giving a, a talk on black holes. Yeah. And there was some recent announcement, the biggest jet from a black hole ever discovered ever, yeah. ever. Uh, I, I, when I was asked about it by the press, I simply said, there's always a biggest jet in the universe. And so now this one is that. See, see, it's the A380. The, yeah. Okay. The, so, um, Airbus A380, it's a fantastic aircraft. Did I <laughs> undersell the significance of this huge jet? So what if it's the biggest one, unless there's some interesting physics that's coming out of it? The area that I have, I share a PhD student who's working in, in the area, is more, is more theoretical. It's about quantum information, the way that information behaves inside and outside a black hole, what happens to things that fall in. But um, in terms of the astrophysical work, the, if you go back, you know, not long ago, we didn't really have any observation of how uh, things behave in the vicinity of black holes. And so I would put it in that box. We've got several observations okay. now. We've got the radio telescope observations from the Event Horizon collaboration that has shown us how the magnetic fields work, for example, around the, the, the okay. black hole in the Milky Way. We've got these jets, which are giving you access to the magnetic structure, presumably in the way that they spin. Thank you for putting it in that context. Now I can understand. It broadens the astrophysical data set yeah. on which we can yeah, uh, uh, sharpen hard. Our, our hypotheses for what's going on. Yeah, because they're hard things to observe. Yeah. And of course, you can't observe the interior because <laughs> right. it's inside this thing called the event horizon. But mm -hmm. what you can do, and we are doing, is observe the way that material behaves in the vicinity of them. Mm -hmm. uh, or well, the other remarkable thing we've been able to do in the last few years is watch them collide and see how the ripples in the fabric of the universe come out of